Destination Japan is presented by Earner's Mattress. Welcome back here at 525. Japanese artists living in New York carry the voices of their ancestors in their artwork, from the technique to the expression combined with their own passion and energy to make one-of-a-kind paintings. This special group of New Yorkers wants you to have a taste of Japanese culture and heritage hanging on your wall. Kala Rama takes us inside the artist's studio. Yukako is a Japanese artist using the energy of New York as her inspiration in her original abstract figurative drawing. She is uh, kind of like lying like this. It's between artist and the model, sort of like a dialogue. But what makes her art special is everything has meaning with a deep connection to Japanese culture. On the handmade Japanese mulberry paper, I use a Japanese black semi ink. And then this one is a uh, reed. Plucked from a swamp, dried, then cut with a traditional katana sword. Like that. And then, here we go. This is ready. So then, when I draw it, I just dip this side into the sumi pod. This sumi ink used by emperors will never fade. And the handmade paper is purchased from Japan. Handmade mulberry paper uh, is very, very... Um, Fragile and uh, sophisticated, but so strong. Yukako is a member of the Japanese Artists Association of New York. Takoha Matsuda is the president. Japanese culture is based on nature, I think. The nonprofit organization is approaching its 50 year anniversary. At that time, just post war, Japanese artists are really weak position, so uh, then, you know, they have to. Help each other. Along with a sense of community, these artists showcase their work in an annual exhibition every September in Lower Manhattan. Reporting in New York City, I'm Calorama.